All right, today's the day that all the uh, the brand spanking new festive fast food specials come out. So, uh, what are you waiting for, Mrs. Beard? Let's get a jingle on. What am I getting? Turkey sub stack, please. Festive double Big Mac, please. You know, if they don't have the lobster toast, I'm going to be crushed. Mrs. Beard, are you trying to seduce me? Oh, Christmas pudding milkshake. Oh, we forgot the mince pie scrolls. Don't forget the pigs and blankets with the extra gravy. All right, what's up, folks? Welcome back to the uh, the Christmas series. And today I've assembled arguably the most comprehensive tray, or tray in a bit, of uh, festive fast food special items. And as is customary, I'm going to try and eat it all and probably explain a little bit about what we got going on here. Do a little food review as we go. I won't talk too much though, I promise. So without further ado, this is Baby's Food and this, I don't know, think, think of a name. The, the ultimate festive fast food. Bonanza. I suppose Bonanza works. Who's gonna? Before we get started. Whoa. <laughs> we couldn't get cream on the, on the shake when we picked it up because it just melted, so. Put it on there now. You can't have a Five Guys shake without cream, let alone a Christmas pudding Five Guys shake. All right, we got the timer going, calorie counting coming, and uh, let's get underway. I'm gonna start with the pigs in blankets. Gotta be. It's true. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all, uh, hope you're all kicking back, full of the joys of the season. I hope you've uh, completed all your Christmas shopping. I bought Mrs. Beard a uh, sack of potatoes and a five kilo tub of Haribo, so she's all set. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Haven't bought her anything yet, actually. Should probably fix that. All right, to say they were from Papa John's, those were flipping lovely. The ones from Subway, we'll see. They were a little tougher. Still not bad though. All right, next we will do. Ugh. This is the uh, the Tiger Pig six inch sub from uh, from Subway. Yes, indeed. You know on the surface, Subway seems to have made a uh, quite the effort with their festive items, but this was not fantastic. I shouldn't have expected anything else really, given that it's clearly inspired by that terrible song Tiger Feet by Mud. Well, I think Subway seems to have made more of an effort with the, the flavor combinations this year than, say, McDonald's. But, um, yeah, they weren't good. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I know what you're thinking. It's Christmas time. Can't you just cut Subway some slack for once? But um, one thing I will say is the, the turkey sub stack is far better than the tiger pig. That's really just a hot dog in a small tiger loaf. But the turkey sub stack wasn't bad. All right, next we'll do... The one everyone's waiting for, the double Big Mac. What the heck is festive about a double Big Mac? Yeah, come on. Somebody's got to be with me on that. What the heck is festive about a Big Mac with just, you know, two extra beef patties in there? Although I will say, yeah, it did surprise me. I take it back, that was actually pretty good. I don't know if it's something to do with the extra two layers of beef, but that seemed for some reason more enjoyable than a regular Big Mac. I suppose it should. I mean, it has more beef in it, right? Let's do the, the festive panini from Starbucks. This looks pretty promising. Ooh. All right, here we go. Now we're getting to the premium stuff. This is the festive panini from Starbucks, and this was great. If you're looking for that kind of Christmas dinner vibe in a sandwich, cranberry sauce, stuffing, etc. Yum. Can't go wrong. I think Starbucks could be winning the race so far. That had some proper Christmas flavors in it. Some cranberry sauce, some kind of winter spice. Next we'll go with the, um, I think this is the festive panini or something. This one's from Costa, I think. You know, you have one job, man, one job. It's the, uh, it's the turkey and trimmings toasty. Clearly not a panini, look at it. You can really taste that. The sage and onion in the stuff in here. This year, Costa is doing a, a lobster and cheese toasty, which I really wanted to try, but um, they didn't have it in uh, in stock, apparently, so this will have to do. Yeah, well, it's sad to miss out on the, the lobster toasty. I have quite a fond history with lobster. 
apart from this one time on Japanese TV where I lost a lobster roll eating contest to a rather petite Japanese lady. That wasn't my finest hour. The Jamaican chicken is spicy. <coughs> Doesn't really have anything to do with Christmas either. <sighs> right, next is a pretty special item. This one is from Starbucks. I think it's inspired by that really terrible TV show. What's it called? Oh yeah, Friends. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, and you can tell it's an homage to Friends because on the menu it's called the one with the gravy layer. So I guess that's kind of a, you know, a tip of the hat to the Roskilla Moist Maker sandwich. But there's not much gravy in here. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate the amount of effort they went to to theme this thing, but there really wasn't much gravy in there. They should probably just change the name because, to be honest, it was a really tasty sandwich. The sweet red cabbage in there was a nice touch. I want to try this, um, this just screams like C minus for effort. <laughs> because this is just basically a tower burger with, I don't know if you can see that. It has a little hollowed out <laughs> ledge in it for uh, the gravy, right? And they call us the gravy burger. So I guess it's supposed to hold <laughs> the gravy. Um, I'm not sure how good a job it's gonna do of that, but. Um, Interesting concept, at least. <laughs> yeah, and that's the only thing you can say about it. This reminded me of that, you know, that one kid at school who does his homework like 10 minutes before it's supposed to be handed in. <laughs> Zero effort, you know, because it's really not that different from a, a normal KFC burger. It did taste pretty good, though. <sighs> Despite being in no way festive. Whew. 21 minutes. Not too shabby. Right, next we've got to do the... Uh, Pigs and Blankets Mac and Cheese, which sounds delicious on paper. Let's see what it actually tastes like. Ooh. Come on, is it even one of my videos if I don't flamboyantly take out some cutlery from the drawers in the back? <laughs> this was delicious, by the way, the Pigs and Blanket Mac and Cheese. I'm not really sure about the, the Pigs and Blankets element of that, but the, the mac and cheese with the little bacon bits on top, that was highly enjoyable. Right, we just got a bunch of cheesy stuff now. These are the uh, the camembert bites from Papa John's. Yeah, you can always trust Papa John's. These things were tasty and the camembert quite potent because that night I had a dream I was arm wrestling Graham Souness, which was weird. Now I'm gonna pop the lid on this, which is, I don't drink a lot of um, coffee with, you know, things in it. I tend to take my coffee just black. But the eggnog latte from Starbucks reels me in every year. Onto the, uh, I think these are the festive cheesy dippers from McDonald's. Which are not quite as good as the, the camembert bites from Papa John's, but they're not bad. Yeah, again, I, I give McDonald's maybe a C for these. They're not particularly festive, but they didn't taste terrible. All right, I think. It's dessert time. All right, first it's uh, the mince pie scrolls from Papa John's. Oh yeah, these are one of the standout items. I really enjoyed these. If you're gonna be trying any festive fast food specials this Christmas, especially here in the UK, I would highly recommend these. They look fantastic for one, and they taste even better, especially if you're into mince pies. I don't know what it is, but the, the sides and the desserts from, from Papa John's over here are always good. Look at this. That looks, that does look good. They do, I mean, you can't argue with that. They do look incredible. These are one of the things that in, in the in the car on the way home, I was, uh, it was hard to resist getting my chops around these things. I'm just, <laughs> I'm getting a little full now, I think. Out of practice, you know, it's Christmas time. Better get these uh, last, uh, what are they, raisins, currants? Who knows? <sighs> All right, let's, uh, let's get rid of this. Ugh. Oh, stuck to the table. Get rid of the, uh, the tray over here. What do we got left? Oh, right, this is it. Let's go with the uh, 
the mince pie, and this is a deep-filled mince pie. That's that's pretty impressive. Yeah, look at that. that that's how I imagine they do um, mince pies in Chicago. That's a, that was a deep dish mince pie. This is from Starbucks. I don't think I've ever, you know, truly had a, a bad mince pie. This was a little soggy, but eh, on the whole, all right. Oh, by, by the way, dad joke incoming. Not quite as uh, crisp and even as I like it. <laughs> that was a Christmas carol gag. Not quite as crisp as I'd like it, but it wasn't bad. This I am really, really excited to try. This is the Christmas pudding limited edition milkshake from Five Guys. You know me, ordinarily. It's gotta be the beer shake. Bacon, Oreo and peanut butter. But this sounded too good to pass up. The cream's melted now, but. I'm not sure it tastes like Christmas pudding. It really kind of feels more like a sherry. I don't know, like a sherry trifle or something. It still tastes good though. And here we got the uh, Celebrations McFlurry, which is a McFlurry containing ingredients that you would use to make celebrations, I imagine. Yeah, no flies on you, son. Look at my hat. I don't know why it's kind of lopsided. The, the tubs that McFlurry's come in these days make it really hard to actually drink, you know, the, the ice cream when it melts. I know what you think. You're thinking, man, you would complain about anything. You're right, I'm just having a, <laughs> a moan for no reason. But I, why do they make them with, you know, corrugated edges? This is delicious. It's definitely got kind of a, a spicy, slightly spiked feel to it, but it doesn't taste like Christmas pudding. Yeah, Christmas pudding, no, but it does taste like Christmas, and that's all you want, surely. All that remains is the eggnog latte. Ooh, that took a while. A while indeed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. <sighs> the last five minutes of this video kind of turned into a, a Badlands Chugs video. <coughs> been drinking for the past five minutes but anyway this is Beebit's food and that was whatever I called it a bunch of fast food menu festive special items in about 40 minutes these are just boxes I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you at the next one it's a poop. I, uh, I didn't want to say it, but um, that mask is actually highly appropriate for you, darling. <laughs>